Okay, everybody. We are going to paint today. We're going to paint the masons. So I have my big cup of water here. I have my wet palette, which is, I got a new one. So it's just, I just used a um, paper towel and a piece of parchment paper. You can kind of see it in there. And the water's in there too. So it's nice and wet. I do have a variety of different types of brushes here. All of these I got basically from Hobby Lobby. Um, except for this one. This one I got from actually Reaper Bones. And this one too actually. So okay, I got two of them. I got two of them from Reaper Bones. I got, it's a two brush and a zero brush. Which is probably all we're really going to need. But I have a couple because sometimes um, I'll leave the paint on one of my brushes and then continue on. So I like to have, basically it's duplicates of the same. So let's, let's go ahead and get started with this. On our wet palette, we're going to put some of our paints that we choose onto here. That way they'll stay wetter longer for us. So, all the masons we're going to get started with. I like to do, to get started, I like doing darkest color first. So we put down the darkest color, and then we, we, we work our way up slowly. So, what that means is, if we paint on a dark color, here's my idea anyway, my thought process. We use a dark color. We put that on there, and then for like the lighter colors or whatever, we miss a little bit. Because, you know, we all got the shakes a little bit. And if we get it on something that we really wanted a dark color, it's going to be hard if it w if it was the other way around. Light color onto the dark color, it's, it's hard to get that back up. But the other way around, easy. Alright, I think what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the big dude. The big dude here. So we're going to start with him. And we're going to start with the mountain. Or mountain stone. So we're going to shake this up pretty good. And we're actually, we're not using a whole lot. We're just going to put um, two little bitty drops here. So we put two drops of the mountain stone on there. And then we're going to grab our number two reaper. Oh, and focus on that. Focus, focus. Focus. So, yeah, there. We're going to use this to start off with. But now, what, what, what are we going to paint the dark stone on here? What are we going to do? I'm going to paint this, obviously, this big hammer he's got here. Um... What else are we going to paint the mountain stone on him? You know what? For right now, that might be it. Because these shoulder blades, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the um, leather, leather bolter right here. So I don't have to really worry too much about that. So let's just paint up that. We're going to dip our, our brush in some paint. We're going to wipe it off. I'm going to pull this a little closer. All right, so then... So inside of my palette, you can't really see, but there's little bitty dots of water all over in here. I'm taking some of those little bitty water droplets, and I'm just kind of thinning down this paint to be really, really thin for us. All right. So then on on here, we're just gonna we're just gonna apply this paint. Now you're gonna notice that it's very, very watery, and we want it to be watery. We want it to be watery because. It's going to be a really thin coat. We lose no detail. And then we just slowly work our way up. So in all these little crevices and stuff, we're just taking our brush. And if you need to go back for some more, just go back for some more. There we go. I think we got all of it. So let's take a close look here. So you can see, it's very thin, very watered down. So we're going to do that for everybody. So we're going to take him, put him right back where he found him. And we're going to grab the next dude. So I'll, we're going to obviously try to keep it all the same, right? So the uniform. So we're going to take the same stuff and just paint his hammer. We're just going to hit it with the same color. I'm not going to actually touch his handle with it, though. Um, I'm going to try to avoid it. But if we touch it, it's all right. We're going to try to just 
get that on everywhere just like that there we go and then we'll look around to see if we find anything else that we want to put that gray on and I don't think so I think everything else is gonna be look good so we're gonna move on to the next guy is there anything on this guy Nah, I don't think so because I think I want all that stuff to be all the same color I don't think there's anything on this girl either that's fine we can have we can have multiple things without this gray stone. I mean, it could have just been an accent piece. So she has a hammer, so we're gonna we're gonna paint her hammer too. We're gonna make sure our brush is still moist. Then we're just gonna touch it, touch both sides of it. The bottom. There we go. Look at that. It's kind of a don't want to lose that detail. So there we go. Now, on this ball, I'm going to want it to be kind of their main primary colors, which is going to be gray and blue. So let's, on here, on the ball, let's paint just, you know, a few of these the gray color. So if you can see what we're going to do here. So we're just going to paint some of them. We'll paint one right there. And we'll paint one right there. Again, this is really thin, right? Really thin. There we go. We're going to wash off our brush. I have a, um, another napkin here, paper towel, just to wipe off all the excess. All right, so we're going to leave that there. Now, we can't go back because you see the, this is still kind of wet here. We can see it. It's kind of glistening. We don't want to touch that again. So we're going to move on. We're going to actually take the lead belcher because that's going to be our next one. Oh, we probably should shake this up. Oops. Make sure you shake your paints. Give it a good shake. All right. So we're just going to take some out of that. Put it onto our wet palette here. I'm just kind of scooping it out. Scooping it out, putting it on there. All right, I'm gonna wash off my paint because uh, my brush because there's way too much paint on that. Also behind behind uh, this is my water glass, so don't mix up the two when you're working with that. Ah, good old water. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take our lead belcher now, and we're just gonna paint all that stuff that we wanted to be metal. Now a lot more of these guys are going to have metal on them than they would have had that brown. So we're just kind of going through here, touching everything that's metal. Not really caring if we touch anything else, because remember, we're going to go over all this stuff. So just, just put it on there. Put it on there. Good, generous helping. Not too thick though, because we don't want to lose any of that good detail that they got going on here for us. Look at that, we're just going to put that right on there. Still, we're trying to make a thin coat of this. We're trying to make a, th oops, get in here. We're trying to make a thin coat of how all this stuff looks. So, all right, let's move on here. Just using the same brush, kind of just dabbing away. Now, again, I, at this stage, we really don't have to worry too much about touching the other pieces. So, if you do, just you know, don't be don't be mad about it or anything. Just put the paint on. We're gonna go over it all anyway. Cool. Oh, he's got a little leg thing down there. Oh, he's got two of them. You have it on both. So we're just going to keep moving along here. Touching all that stuff. There we go. Look at that. That looks really good. Oh, he's got a chain. we got to hit that chain a little bit. So we're just going to touch that chain around his hand. 
again we're not too worried about all the details and or you know touching the rest of the skin because look if you look really closely here look really close you can see I, I even got some on his hand not a big deal not a big deal for us so we're just going to touch his belt buckles that's good that's good for us we're not trying to win any awards here so let's just continue on going to the next one does he have any I gotta take off my glasses I'm a blind man I'll tell you what hold on let me let me move my camera a little bit oh got the shooks so yeah he's got some shoulder pads on him so let's let's touch those shoulder pads on him Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm not really good at this whole focusing thing, so let me let me back up a little bit. Maybe I'm too close to the camera here. Eventually, one day I'll get this all figured out, eh? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. This is also just a good vlog for myself. You know what I mean? Just kind of talking and painting. I do this anyway, talk to myself when I paint. Of course, you know, it's only to myself, so my wife thinks I'm crazy. I probably am, but you know, whatever. It's good to be a little bit crazy. I don't know what this thing is right here. Let me get up and close. Uh, focus. See this thing right here? I'm not sure what that is. Someone paint it um, silver. If you know, don't know what something is, just paint it. And you know it's it's your own, so I'm gonna view this as like a maybe a, a studded leather piece right here. You know, after I paint it, those are probably pockets. That's okay. I think it looks good that way. There's no mistakes here. I'm gonna dry off my paint. Now you want to keep a you want to keep a nice um, moist brush. You don't want any of that paint getting um, dried up in there. All right, so let's keep moving along here. Grab the next guy. Oh yeah, he's got some for sure on him. So he's got a few little arm things. So it's oops, too much paint. It's oh, too much water. You'll know when you have too much water or too much paint because it, it'll pool up way too quickly. So we're just going to wipe that off. So what I did, as you can see here, I just took it all off. Because, I mean, we just put it on, so no rush. So you just took it off because there's already too much water in there. So we just took it off and we'll put it on again later. We'll try her again. No mistakes. Just, uh... Minor inconvenience with that one, huh? All right, we're gonna get both of these. So we're probably gonna paint his little arm thing there. We're gonna probably paint that a different color, maybe a gold or I don't know, something like that. Oops, not that one. We'll probably paint that a different color yet. Now he has a leather plate, it looks like too. So actually, no, let's just hit all of this. So we'll hit. Oh, that's a scarf. See, it, it doesn't really matter though if I hit everything else. It doesn't matter. We're going to paint all over that. So, And this is, again, we're, we're doing it with the darkest color first. That way, if we do hit something, we can just go over it a few times. As opposed to if we hit it with a light color, we're going to have to do all that light color over again. He's got little bitty foot things going on here. Oh my gosh. The camera, this is not going to work. Mm, he has so many bits and bobs on him. So many bits and bobs. So many bits and bobs. Oh, well. Uh, so it looks like she just got this. So she's going to be a very gray player. It's a lot of grays. Um, yeah, I don't think she's got anything else. So let's move on to the next girl. Um, 
I want that to be leather. I don't know what those are, so we're gonna leave. Oh wait, you know what? Those are probably yeah. So let's hit these. Oh, you probably can't see. She has like little bitty. I, I assume these are um, chisels, and we're just gonna touch them. Touch the top of them. There. There you go. Now, there's probably nothing on the monkey, but let's go ahead and take a look. Um, he's got a chest thing on, but I think that's still his bare chest. He has straps, but no, we're just going to leave him the way he is. All right. So we got our two dark colors on, All right? We got our, we got our, our, um, our mountain stone. We got our mountain stone. Uh oh, autofocus decided. Wow, that's so bad. All right, so in the end, what happened was we got the mountain stone and we got the uh, leather vulture on all of the metal stuff that we wanted. So in the next video, we're gonna put the f the uh, leathers on everybody. So let's let's do that in the next video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace.